Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here and record a video for you that shows you just a little bit in detail how I use Adobe Illustrator to make SVG files. This tutorial isn't going to like go into Illustrator completely and show you like all the basics. So I'm just showing you how I personally use this program to create SVGs. For this video, I'm only going to show you like a text vector. I'm not gonna be drawing in this one or like using shapes. This is just going to be a very basic um, tutorial to get you started so you can practice. So I have Illustrator up. You do wanna open up a new blank space by going to File New. I always design in 5x5 five five with 300 ppi. I do have my Illustrator set up how I like it. I like Pathfinder up here in the top right corner and then swatches stroke and I like to be able to see all my layers down here. So to get started, we're going to click on the text tool and then click into our artboard and now we're just going to type out a random phrase um, for an example. When I'm designing, I normally don't just use one font. So if I know that I'm going to be using two fonts, for example, and if I know what word that I want different, sometimes I... Um, I'll do something like this like I'm gonna do this top part with one font and be kind and a different one so I'm just going to select this and come up here to our fonts and I'm going to attempt to not be too crazy um, about what I select just be quick here um, That's hard for me to do. Let's see how this looks. Okay, and if you see my bounding box is not showing, so I am going to add that by view, show bounding box. There we go. I'm holding shift and I'm dragging out that bottom corner to make it larger. I think those fonts work for now. So now we have our text. From here, of course, you can come up here. When it's selected, you can center your text. Left align, right align. Whatever you wanna do, for now we're just gonna leave it as or as centered. And now we want to get the text in a vector format. So now we need to expand. You're gonna to go to Object, Expand, and we're gonna click OK. For me, this is also a shortcut on my computer, which makes it very quick. So if you're gonna be doing this a lot, I highly recommend looking up the shortcuts or like adjusting them to what's easiest for you. So now, as you can see, each letter is separate. And this is kind of how your text looks like when you are working in Cricut Design Space. It has that overlap. And we know that if you leave that overlap there, then when your machine goes to cut it, it's going to cut out that little piece as well, which we don't want. So now to get everything separated, we need to ungroup it. Go to Object, Ungroup. And I'm going to come over here and open up my Layers panel. So now we can see everything is its own separate piece. This text, um, if you like, I don't really like the connect, like the connection on some of this. So it's not um, unusual for me to edit how that looks or to bring 
ones closer. And when I bring this one close, you see how close the dot is to the T. I'm going to try to just go ahead and make it connect. And we see that it's poking out here a little bit. So I'm going to click over here on the direct selection tool. It's also shortcut A for my Mac. And when you do this, you're able to see these nodes. That's what each of these little dots are. Um, when you cut out something with Cricut, this is what your machine reads. So it hits each one of these nodes. I'm gonna just select this one, click and drag it in so that it's not sticking out. I think that top part looks pretty good. I might move this in a little bit. And we're gonna make this one piece. I'm just clicking and dragging to select all the text. And now I'm gonna come up here to my Pathfinder box and we're going to click on Unite. I'm going to come over here and click on this second arrow, the Direct Selection tool. You can also hit A. And now we see that it's all one piece. If you do not have your Pathfinder box up here, you can find all of these tools under Window. And here you can see Pathfinder is checked. So if you don't have that, you can access it by doing that option. Now, if you see over here, this is still just grouped from uniting it. All the pieces are together, but it's not a compound path. So we want to go to Object, Compound Path, and Make. This is another step that I would highly suggest you putting a shortcut for. I do Command-8, and it's, it's just really easy to remember and to access because you're going to be using that a lot. Now I'm going to select Be Kind, and we're going to make this a little larger. And we're going to do the same process. We're going to make it one piece. So we're going to come up here to Pathfinder, click on the first one, which is Unite. Again, if you look at our Layers panel, it's showing each piece that's it's just grouped. So we're going to go to Object, Compound Path, and Make. And now we have two pieces. One, two. So now if you are doing SVG files to sell, you definitely should think about those nodes I was talking about. So I'm going to select everything and we're going to look at all of those. These fonts aren't too bad. A lot of times if you're working with hand, um, like handwritten fonts, um, they sometimes those designers don't clean up their nodes and so then you'll find these fonts that have these dots just all over and it's a mess it takes your machine longer to cut since it's trying to hit each piece so as a SVG designer I try to clean them up as much as possible just so that my customers can cut them quicker to do this, we can go up to Object, Path, and then Simplify. Again, I have a shortcut for this, highly recommend. This box is going to pop up. If you can see, it already simplified it for us. There's a lot less notes, but it kind of went overboard. It really changed the structure of the letters, and I don't like that, but especially like right here on the T, you can see that on the tail. So I'm gonna click on these three dots, and if you look right here, they changed it um, from the original 
So our original design had 335 points and it now has 127. But again, it, it did too much. I always like to change this to 98%. It does keep a little more nodes on, but it keeps those characteristics of the font. So we're going to hit OK. Now, another thing, if you're selling these or uploading them onto a marketplace, most marketplaces want you to have everything compounded together by color. So if you want this design, I'm going to zoom out. If you want this design to be all black, then we can just go ahead and compound path this and it's one piece and it's ready to cut. But we're going to copy this. I'm going to hit option and click and drag down. You can also just, you know, copy and paste. So we're going to do that with this top one. We're going to make sure it's center by clicking up here. We're going to unite them both and do compound path. So now you can see right here, it's highlighted. It's one piece. That one would be ready to sell. You would just need to export it. This one, if you're wanting it to be two colors, we're going to change the bottom. We'll just select, make sure that we are on the fill color. We're just going to select a color over here, center. So now we could cut out the top in black and the bottom in pink. If you're selling this, go ahead and group them by object group. So if you are done with your design, which this is clean, everything is grouped together, it's all united in a compound path, we would need to export these one at a time. So I'm just going to copy the bottom and delete that out. And I'll show you how I export my SVGs. We're going to highlight our design. We are going to center it by clicking the horizontal and the vertical align. And now I'm going to hit option. I am using a Mac and I'm going to click with my mouse. I'm sorry, and I'm also holding down the shift key and I'm just making this large enough to fill my artboard. Then we would come up to file, save as. You wouldn't put your name here. I always name mine by doing a dash in between words. You don't want to leave spaces and underscores really aren't the best option. So try to work with dashes. It's also nice to add a dash SVG. And we're going to come down to format SVG, save. And now we get this pop up box. And you might just take a screenshot of my settings here because this is what I always use. You're probably going to have to change your decimal places and then hit OK. And that's really all there is to making a text SVG file. Now I also include a PNG in a DXF file format. You can include what other file formats that you want to. Um, just go to the save as and look around at the different options. And then if you want to do the PNG or DXF, you'll go to file, export, export as, and this is where you will change it from PNG or DXF. I hope that I didn't go through that too quickly. Um, this is my first time doing an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Um, so I apologize if I did go too quickly or if I was confusing or left something out. Um, I know sometimes my hands move too quick because I'm used to doing this and I forget to say something. But um, if you have any questions about just basic SVG um, vector designing, just leave your comments down below and I will try to get back to you. I do plan on 
coming out with more tutorials on how to like arch your text, um, change it. This is just very basic. This is a very beginner friendly tutorial. Um, and I'll probably do some on like drawing and illustrator and other things as well if you guys are interested. So let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.